Of course, Ricky, you famously became friends with your kind of musical hero through extras. Oh, David Bowie? Yeah. Yeah, he was my hero for music for about 25 years. And, um, yeah, then I, I met him and uh, uh, I invited him to do extras and uh, he said yes. Um, uh, just incredible. Oh. Um, I co-wrote a song with him, the, the, so the song that we sing in extras, and I, um, I sent him the lyrics and I called him up and I said, do you get the lyrics? He went, yeah. I said, um, yeah, I said, I said, can you give me some um, sort of like retro, like uh, Life on Mars? And he went, yeah. I'll just knock off a quick fucking life on Mars for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do oh, that. Oh, he was amazing. Wow. He was amazing. To the end, just incredible. An artist to the end and kept putting out material right to the end. It was incredible. Yeah. And did you just get in touch because of extras, or you were friends anyway? No. Um, well, the first time I met him, I was sort of newly famous, and I was invited to um, one of those things at the BBC. Uh, like, uh, the office had just come out, I think, on DVD the first year, and uh, I was invited by um, Greg Dyke, who was the director general then, and um, we went to watch David Bowie with a few other people, and then after, Greg Dyke came up to me and said, oh, you're a big Bowie fan, aren't you? I said, yeah, I love him. He said, come and meet him. Right, and I went, really? Yeah, come on, come and meet him. Right, come on, right? And there was me and Jane and Greg Dyke walking to meet David Bowie, and on the way he went, Salmon! Salmon Rushdie joined us. <laughs> um, uh, we went and met David Bowie, and he was very polite. He didn't know who I was. Um, I remember the next day, I was in the pub with my mate, and he said, what did you do last night? And I went, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, um, and then I got an email from David Bowie saying, um, so I watched The Office, what do I do now? And we sort of became pen pals, I invited the directors. Then he um, invited me to um, play a, a benefit in New York, my first New York gig, at Madison Square Garden, and he introduced me. And the crowd didn't know he was going to be there, and they went crazy. And he just came out with a harmonica and went, chubby little loser, <laughs> and just sang, <laughs> sang the song. And it was, it was amazing. And that was his last live appearance. Oh, wow. my God. Yeah, I didn't know that. yeah, incredible. That's extraordinary. Extraordinary. Amazing.